Welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. Today we have another fun blind uh, in another episode four or three? Four? Four. Four of Keeping It 100. Um, 20 is, bottles. Yeah, man. that's insane. It is bottles. going up so much. These are the bottles that we're using today. So if you were curious, we got it on our new nice shelf. <laughs> you guys can see them at all times now. We got Rittenhouse Rye, Jim Pepper 1776. Bond and Lillard, Holiday, Bottle Bond, and, and then Old Forces are 1897. So, five good bottles. Good bottles, all different places they come from, mash bills, everything's completely yep. different about them, price ranges, everything. So, we got my wife to pour the blind, so we're gonna go one through five and around here. Um, if you've watched our past ones, we just kind of go through and rate them, and mm -hmm. one to 50, each of those combine the score to 100, and then we just kind of order them from that list. And then sometimes we'll go back and do a final two or three to compare them a little if we don't think it's... You know, if it's too close yeah. to tell. Which right? is, happens most of the time. It might be the case here. Yeah. Do you have one you think is going to win? For me, I think Rittenhouse is probably <clears throat> my personal favorite out of these five. Holiday definitely has a really good chance. And I don't think I've had James Pepper maybe a one sip, so I think this could be a dark horse. Bonnie Miller is probably my predicted last place I think Bonnie Lillard's going to be last. Old Forster might be a second, to close second to last. Um, I think Holiday, I think we're going to switch first and second. I think I'm going to, like my prediction is Holiday's Holiday. going to win and then Rittenhouse is going to be second. Two good bottles though. Like we really enjoy both of those. Yeah. So we're kind of going to do this. The colors are pretty similar. This one may be a little darker. One might be a little darker than most. Yep. Three um, looks a little light. It does, but that might be the Bonnie Lillard. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking guesses unless Jared is like he always does. Yeah. Um, glass number one. Ooh, this smells good. It smells familiar. It smells good. It Fruity. Smells, it smells warm. A little oak in there to me as well. Yeah, same. Ooh, really like that though. A little oak in the palate. That's really good. Mm, nice and warm. A little spice, a little sugar. I'm a huge fan of that. Kind of like um, a Splenda, but like in a good way. Mm, yeah, that's a great note there. A little like, like a cookie. You know, like a Super juice. sweet. Uber sweet, that Over, is. An over sweet chocolate cookie. Yeah, very bake-ish, like cookie-esque vibe. Mm -hmm. That is really good, though. You like those sugar cookies at Walmart? They have like mm. that frosting yes, on Yes, yes, yes. That's gonna be hard to eat for me, I think, already. Yeah, that one's, that one's a banger. Um, I'm gonna go 40. I'm gonna go 38. I'm right there with you. 78 for the first one. That was really good. Last right two. That's gonna be hard to follow up that one. Though. I don't remember how high or low we scored the last couple of episodes yeah. of this. So this is relative to this episode. <laughs> yeah, even though I do combine the list at the end, so it <laughs> might not relevant to this. Forty one. might have been high. Thirty-eight might have been a little too high for the. That was really good. I mean, it might be low. I don't know. It has a little funkiness to it, right? Yeah, it's hard to get a nose. To be totally frank, hmm. I'm not getting a whole lot of anything. Not great. I can't get a single nose. I, can, I can't get a, an actual note. Yeah, I'm with okay. you now. It's getting something now. These have been open for a bit, so they should have had plenty of time to open up. Um, like yeah. in the glass, not just the bo bottles as well, but in the glass. Good try. It's very light. It kind of has a little like, it's not smooth. It's kind of just like, kind of like jumpy. Jumpy. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but like jump, driving on a gravel road, it's kind of like, mm. I'm gonna give that one a 29. Yeah, significant lower. I'll say 29 as well. Class three. The lightest one, I think, maybe. Yeah. Interesting. Much more similar to two than one. One is still the standout here to me. Yeah, for sure. This one has a little bit more fruit to me though than number two. It definitely has more than number two, just yeah. in general. Just like in general. more oh, nodes, right. more, more like more body, more structure. I don't know what that one could be. Man, I got really have no clue what any of these could be no. so far. I think I know one is, but that's it. I have a guess for one as well. That's got a surprisingly nice palette. It does. That's a good mouthfeel. I like the flavors that develop. Yeah, that's a great. I just, it's a good finish too. Yeah, it's got like a like a, a light roast coffee. No, that's a good one. It's I got a little tea note in there as well. Yeah, um, like a little chai. Yeah, a little chai tea potentially. That is really good. There's a note there that I'm struggling to find exactly what it is. It's caramel bomb. It's pretty. The caramel. second time to come it's back. It's like a vanilla caramel hybrid. It's yeah. like very like. I know that sounds very original. But that's exactly what this is. Yeah, like, like a candy. It's very bourbon. <laughs> very like, bourbon. I'm gonna go 33. I'm gonna go 34. Class four. Better color of this one. Yeah, this one's back to the, the color of one. 
It's funny those dudes that give it like the exact like color code number, like this is a light amber to burnt honey. I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Sherman <laughs> Williams A134. Yeah. <laughs> Can I color match this? Yeah. yeah. That load. That's a good note. Wow. Whew. Fruit cocktail. Mm -hmm. I can't believe how fruity these are. All these are really fruity. Besides one. One is not fruity. I don't, yeah. Uh, not even close. This one has a bubblegum note to it. Oh, I got that. I just yeah. got that. Yeah. Said that. Very bubblegummy. Like um. Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. Yeah. Hubba yeah. Bubba. This is the powdered sugar like coating or yeah. they put on it. Big League Chew. Like that's, yeah. Yeah. I really like that though. Like it's just, uh, it's different. Hmm. Palette's very different. Not even close, not even the same. It's not even really fruity. Spicy. Yeah. It's good though. It's very good, very nice. It's similar to one and to me, I just like ones, like it translates better. This one's a little bit all over the place. I don't know. But it's better I'm gonna, than three. I'm gonna compare three and four real Maybe. quick. Four is my right hand. Four is my left. Oh jeez. Yeah, four <laughs> is better for me. Four is better for me. I give that one a 34. So I'm gonna say that one's a 36. I'm gonna go 36 as well. 72. Okay. That's fine. We got our top three pretty much fledged out unless this would get yeah. back it, which I don't know. No. <laughs> That's an instant no. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of that one. Um, that's much more it's, similar to two. It smells like a, uh, like a dum dum or something. And it's very fakey. Yeah, like right? candy. It, it's like fake fruit candy. It's so hard going through these blind. Because, I mean, I could be gay. Yeah. We enjoyed <laughs> four of these. We did not like Blonde and Lillard when we had it. No. But it's also had some time to open up. And so it could have gotten better. And so far, I've not hated any of these. Mm -mm. There's been a couple standouts to me, especially one. Yeah, two, and then this one, I think, are our bottom two, pretty clear. Yeah, I mean, that, ooh, that's a weird note. It is so funky. Ooh, what is that? Something weird. Oh, almost like it went bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you think it's going to be better? And then the, the finish. Yeah. It's, the aftertaste is that's not, yeah, horrible. That's way worse than two is. Mm. Two doesn't have anything bad about it, necessarily. That one's not it. That's the worst one. That has to be bottom little, right? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say 20. Two. I'm gonna have the same thing, probably just 44 it. One. Three and four. Three and four are our top three. I'm sorry, it's two and five. Points. Two tastes like bottom shelf. Like, cause you know, like the ancient age we had earlier, it just doesn't really taste like anything, which. Fortunately, only bottom shelf one here is this one, and I, I don't, don't think, think it's that, that one. I'm gonna guess that one's Old Forester. I'm gonna, two? Yeah. No, 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 no. You think it's 17 or six? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well. I actually, we'll try to guess all of these before. Yeah, why not? Okay. Why not? Do you want to go backwards this time? Because one backwards. is very, very good. And we can start A-B testing if we need to. So four, the first time, got a total of 72 points. Okay. Where you get the same score, 36. It's gotten better. So apple-y, mm, pear. Very apple. It's just like, just straight from the tree too. Not cut yeah. down, yeah, not that mixed with good. cinnamon or in a pie. It is just like, you bit into an apple and then smelled <clears throat> right where you, just bad. That's very full. Like there is so much flavor there. I like the palate even better than the nose. The palate brings in some spiciness. Brings in a little spiciness. It, it really, that 100 proof shines right there. I get a little nutmeggy and cinnamon in there. Yeah. It, it does have a little fakey astringent note to it, which I'm not a... The very end? Yeah. So what you're gonna do, that's where I'm getting it to. Like right now, I'm yes. still tasting it just a I tad. Like I don't like the, the, the aftertaste. Why do I do this every time? I'm putting my hand in my pocket. Might go 36 again for me. I say I'm gonna go 36 I'm again. gonna drop it to 34. Because... There's a weird note there now that was not there before. I'm not getting much. Three, the first time I got 67 points. Yeah, I didn't think it was high because I'm not getting much. Mouth feels better, but. There's a weird. I don't even know what that is. Like, it doesn't I... have a flavor really. It just is like bourbon. <laughs> but like. Nothing stands out. The finish isn't that long. Like. Yeah. The structure is. I'm not. It's eh. not. It's not sweet. It's not fruity. It's not yeah, spicy. It's just little. kind of like a bourbon. Yeah. Twenty nine for that one. I'm gonna go twenty eight. Yeah, I don't like it. Fifty seven. Yeah, that dropped ten points. It's worse than two now. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. When I rank them, it's gonna place lower than two. One was seventy eight points the first time. The clear is six point favorite. Also, if you haven't checked Ooh, out our other episodes, yeah. we're doing 100, 100 per bottles. So if you're confused yeah. with what we're doing here <laughs> or with the leaderboard you're gonna see in a little bit, this is 15 through 20. So we're, the, we're a fifth of the way through. Yeah. So we're gonna eventually do 100, 100 per bottles and rank them all and then maybe do like 
a top 10 or yeah. something blind. So please anything. leave your comments down below. They can be any price range, anything like that. It doesn't have to be bourbon. It can be any type of whiskey. It can be. So we have a rye in this one. Um, we had a wheat whiskey in the last one. Yeah. That was oh, the worst thing. Zoinks. That needs to be zero. Yeah. Okay. One. Yeah. That nose is a standout for me, even compared to the other two. That is, I mean, so fruity and oaky. It's just, like, it's just what I like in yeah, bourbon. That's a great way to say I it. I remember the palate being even better. So here we go. Oh. That is perfect. That is some oak, for sure. Mm -hmm. That's got to be the oldest one here. Oldest one, most mature, most like developed one. I'm sticking, I'm going to go 41 for that one. I, don't, I moved it up a point. That is 39. Just still 80. Oh, we moved up two points. So a clear winner there. So that one's a clear winner. This one's a clear loser. Four is a clear second place. You want to A, B, these two? I think but these are one point apart right now. Yeah, one point apart. And this one was lower originally and now it's higher. So we just got to make sure. 58 for two. 57, 57 for three. three. So we got to make sure we get them. I'm going to put them right hands here. Yeah, no. I like two is very, which, very which one's nothing. Two? I would have said, yeah, yeah, this one, okay. Two is nothing. Three is just weird. Three is just not good. Yeah. I like two better. I like two better. So that's probably the accurate score. I'm just going to leave it one there. One point. Leave it there then. Okay. So final ranking before we reveal is from last to first going to be last five is last. Last five is fifth. <laughs> With how many points? With 44, 44 points. 44 points. Glass three is fourth place at 57. 57. Glass two 58. is third place. Glass four, second place mm -hmm. at 70. Yep. Glass and one. The winner. By far is glass one. 80 points. 80 points. So that one was really, really good. 10 points <laughs> above second place. All right. Last so place. Fifth, glass five. My guess is definitely Mono Lillard. Oh, geez. What is it? Is it holiday? It's holiday. Damn. All right. Um. So, last place. Last five. Less than fifty percent. Less, less than fifty. Forty-four out of hundred is holiday soft red wheat. I can't believe that. You favorite going into this. Is that the weeded one? Huh? Do you think it's because it's weeded? It's probably because it's weeded to go against this rye. We like this. I'm a little disappointed. When it's by itself, we like this. Blinds. Hey, bring out the truth. Bring out the truth every time. We've never blinded Holiday. Um, we liked it on its own. We, and I think it is a good pour still. Yes. I, I It was not good following these four. I don't it's a good product. Say. It's a good product. I, I would still suggest you buy it. Yeah. Yes, we did not like it in this blind. We really enjoyed it when we have it by itself. Um, great product. Yeah, I just... I, I, I it's don't know going what to up say. Against, like it's, it's going up against Wild Turkey, Old Forester... Heaven Hill. It's going to get some absolute it is. monsters. I, Shows yeah. were, uh, we can't it's really great, say right? anything so. else about it because that's just what happens. And we're going to be, we're going to put out whatever we put out. So I am. I don't want you guys yeah. to watch our channel and know that we're being honest all the time. Clearly, because we enjoy this and now we're making it last. If you didn't know, this was sent to us by Holiday. Yeah. And so. Which we're very appreciative of. So appreciative of it. Thank you. We're not trying to put it in a negative light at all. Yeah. But we're not going to be, we're going to be honest. So. Yeah, correct. Okay. Glass, fourth place. Was two, two, no, 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 three, three. Yeah, Bond and Lillard. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah. It Bond and Lillard. We were very, very let down by when we did the review. This is the worst valued one here. Yeah, I mean, because that one's like the same price as this at three seven five. Correct. Yeah, I was so hyped to try this one. Um, I, there will be a full review on the channel eventually. We had very high expectations. We were huge wild turkey fans. This is, we've heard from pretty good stuff from other people, mm -hmm. and we really enjoyed WB Southland. Like it was, it, like, it was better than It was definitely time. better. I wouldn't say really enjoyed, it was definitely better. Mm -hmm. um, and then when you're paying, you know, $60 for 375, you expect a lot. The two most expensive products here are the ones that are in last place. So keep that in mind of what's going on. You don't <laughs> always pay what you get. Yeah. yeah. That made no sense. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you meant. Okay, glass three was, or last two was third place. That is 1776 James Pepper. Makes sense. Now this one, I think it's the one we said that like wasn't like good or bad, right? Like yeah, it was just nothing. Yeah, I and mean, it, it, it's MGP. I like this is still is still in Indiana, I believe. Now yeah, it's still in Indiana. So this is just MGP knocked down to a hundred proof. Now they distill their own stuff and like their decanter series, their barrel proof stuff. For great things about, and that's a bottle we're looking for in the future. Just haven't gotten around to buying it yet. I would definitely suggest buying this at twenty nine dollars. This is gonna be a bottom shelf banger. Yeah, I mean that's that's insane. Uh, very very good. 
go check it out. Yeah, for and sure. the distillery tour is awesome. If you guys haven't been, go check out Lexington because it's in the distillery district. Yep. So it's connected to Goodfellas Pizza. There's Crank and Boom there. There's uh, Barrel House. There's already one. Everything so right there. So much beer stuff yeah. right there. Great location. Also, really like the bottle. It looks old fashioned. It looks it like it 1796. Does. Have a bottle, yeah. right? So, 1776. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Glass uh, two, our second place was glass four. That would be 1897. Yeah, I, I knew that. I can't believe how much you liked it this time. This is probably our favorite Old Forester product. It now. probably is. Other Old Forester products, we have never really enjoyed. Old yeah. Forester 100 is everyone's suggestion for best bottom shelf vinegar, best whatever. It and is. It tastes like cough syrup. Obscene. It would yeah. place last place on yeah. this list by far. I mean, it wouldn't be even close. We'll do it, I guess, another one. I guess we'll have have to... more. <laughs> but that will be in the future, keeping it 100. But keeping it 100 with you is trash. <laughs> <laughs> the 1897, though, is probably one of our favorites. I think it's better than 1910 or 1920, what we had. 1920. It's better than 1920, I think. Yeah, the 115 proofer. Yeah. It's better because that one's just so stringent and fake. It, it comes that one has more flavor. I would probably rather drink that one. Plus, there's more proof, so you're getting a little more bang for your butt. Because <laughs> I just drink 100 proof, uh, 100 high proof stuff always. It's like, yeah. just what I pour. So this one wouldn't appeal to me as much, but this is a better pour. It is. It's this really is good. surprisingly it's good today. Expensive, though. It is expensive. Yeah. And then Claire, winner here. I mean, I, we, we love this one blind. Rittenhouse. Rittenhouse. Now, what's, what's probably the craziest part about this? This lost in our bottom shelf finger season two finale to Maker's Mark. Yeah, Maker's I mean, Mark is better than all these, essentially, <laughs> by the transitive oh, property. Oh, Jesus, that is insane to think about. But this one today was a clear winner. I mean, class one. Uh, instant. I knew oh, it, what God. it was. I did not. It smells like a rye. And it it's, smells oaky, though. It smells oaky. Heaven Hill's doing something special with this product. They're doing something special with I it. I really want to try Pikesville um, because yeah. if this is... It gets, but, like, it's oh. twice as much, really. I know. That's insane. If it's twice as good, then it's worth it. That's very, very true. We'll only get to pick up a bottle of that. Let us know if you guys have tried Pikes Bowl down below. And again, we've said this before, we have 80 more of these to go through and we are running about yeah. running out of ideas. So please let us know what, other, us what know. other 100 proof products you want to go through because we have to. Like this is, this is a series yes. that we are very excited for. And this is actually a fan suggestion as well Careful. from um, yeah. Dan. Thank you for commenting. He has um, <laughs> Yeah, but you, as your suggestion, and so Dan we're man. taking it to another level of 100 of them. So, and it's yes. very, very good so far. We, this is one of our favorite proofs. That's crazy. One comment is going to end up becoming 20 videos of ours. Oh, jeez. A whole series. So if your guys' comment could be the same thing in the future. So yeah. please comment us any ideas. It's also crazy to know. We're bourbon drinkers primarily, and a rye beat for bourbon. So that's very, very true. And it might be in first place. I have no clue. I'm sorry. I should do my research, but I don't watch. We we have gaps between when we post these. It's not like bottom shelf I think where we're we, weekly. We filmed the other last episode of this like maybe October. Mm -hmm. So it's been a couple months. <laughs> it's been a while. In the last year almost. So. I don't remember the scores, but I'm pretty sure this is at least top yeah. five. Rittenhouse is great. So check this out if you guys haven't. It. It's a, a suggestion of mine now for every person getting into bourbon because it's the perfect way to get into rye as well. And I'm a believer if you're getting into bourbon, you should get into rye. They go so much in hand in hand yep. and it just opens your world even more. Yep. So thank you guys for watching. Keeping it 100 one more time. Um, we will see you next time, next month. Cheers. Cheers.